Hello and welcome to Baiju's IAS. Let's get started with our daily quiz and look at question number one. Which of the following statement or statements is or are incorrect? Number one, Election Commission of India forbids publishing results of opinion polls from the date of notification of elections until the end of polling. Number two, in case of a multi-phase election, results of exit polls can be published only after the voting is over in each phase. What is the context? These are exit poll findings, win for DMK in Tamil Nadu, left front in Kerala, NDA in Assam. When it comes to opinion polls, there is no ban on opinion polls. But there is one restriction. Do not publish the findings, do not broadcast the findings of these opinion polls during the period of election silence. Now, what is this election silence? 48 hours before the close of voting. That period is election silence. And during this period of election silence, opinion poll results cannot be broadcast. That's the only restriction on opinion polls. Otherwise, after the elections have been announced during the election campaigning as well, opinion polls can be published, can be broadcast. But there is one restriction. Do not publish or broadcast the findings of opinion polls during this period of election silence, which is 48 hours before the close of the polling. In case of a multi-phase election, Results of exit polls can be published only after the voting is over in each phase. This statement is incorrect. This statement is incorrect. Why? For example, West Bengal elections. These were eight phase elections. But the exit polls were published and broadcast when? Only when the last phase election was over. Only when the last person exercised his or her right to vote. The question is asking which of the following statements are incorrect. Both these statements are incorrect. C is the right answer. Now let's look at question number two. Tianha, recently seen in the news, is related to A, a nasal spray viewed as a potential cure against COVID-19 infection. B, Chinese space program. C, naval exercise between India and Singapore. D, it's a computer malware. The right answer is it is a Chinese space program or related to a Chinese space program. Tianha is basically a main module of China's first permanent space station. In total, 11 missions are required. And Tianha is the first mission of this Chinese space program. This is the context. Today's The Hindu newspaper, China launches key module for its permanent space station named Tianha. Now let's look at question number three. Which of the following is or are statutory bodies? Now a body which is mentioned in the constitution is known as a constitutional body. A body which is created by an act of legislature is a statutory body. Competition Commission of India is a statutory body. Human Rights Commission or National Human Rights Commission also is a statutory body. So 1 and 3, B is the right answer. Special Officer for Linguistic Minorities, it is a constitutional entity. And Niti Aayog is neither a constitutional body nor a statutory body. This body was created by a government resolution. That means this body was neither created by the constitution nor by the act of the legislature. What is the context? This is today's business standard. The Competition Commission of India has approved the proposal of Tata Digital, which is a subsidiary of Tata Sons, to acquire a majority stake in online grocery player Big Basket. But staying with Competition Commission of India, let's look at question number four. Which of the following is the duty of the Competition Commission of India? Number one, eliminate practices having adverse effect on competition. Yes, promote and sustain competition. Yes, protect the interests of consumers. Yes, statement four might be tricky for you, but this statement four is also correct because once you ensure that there is freedom of trade in the markets of India, 
that is how you are promoting competition so using your common sense you can mark statement 4 as correct as well so d is the right answer all of the above let's look at previous year's question paper prelims 2015 amnesty international is it is a global human rights movement now let's look at the fact of the day exercise varuna what is the context this is today's pib news exercise varuna which is Indian and French Navy's bilateral exercise concluded on 27th of April 2021. So if there is a question in your prelims examination, exercise Varuna is related to, it is a joint naval exercise between India and France. What about GIMEX? GIMEX is a maritime exercise between Japan and India. So Japan, India, maritime exercise is GIMEX. SLINEX, it's a naval exercise between Sri Lanka and India. SITMEX, it's a trilateral exercise, trilateral maritime exercise between Singapore, India and Thailand. And Malabar is a naval exercise between United States, Japan, India and recently in Malabar 2020, Australia also participated. That is it from our daily quiz segment. Thank you for being with us. Have a great evening.